Well, we are pulling into this auction going on right here. Hopefully we can, uh, we're not too late and we can get an auction number. Let's get to it. Uh, what do you think? Just park right in front of the door? I think we'll be alright. Doesn't have a sign or anything. Of course, we brought our old trusty three-wheeler along. Ooh, look at all these trucks. Oh, mostly Chevys right here. One Ram, a yellow Ram. Ooh, man, that was my, that is my favorite Chevy. The front end of this thing is just beautiful. I've always liked the looks of this Chevy. Always liked it. All right, let's see if we can find get a number. Ooh, it is noisy in there. So shut that door. That's a little noisy. So uh, basically, we're gonna go to this auction. I'm gonna basically snoop around all the stuff at first. Uh, but they said once the auction starts, they don't want me uh, to film. So I can't film once the auction starts. But we can snoop at first. That's always fun. Speaking of snoop, let's look at people's trucks. This isn't odd, is it? I mean, this is normal. I always look at trucks. Is that a dually? Ooh, that's weird. High country. That's... I have never, ever seen that style of truck. He must have did that modification himself. That's weird. This is a good old, uh... What is this, uh... The prior year's model? Yeah, this is right before they uh, changed it over to the new style. Chevy's. Of course, that's the best one of them all right here with the hydro bed. I just love the colors on this little uh, three-wheeler we got, the Honda. Man, they just pop. Almost looks like American flag. So patriotic. America. America. Yeah. Oh, here's, here's a scream in America, too. This old uh, Gen 1 uh, Ram. Power Ram. He's a, eh, I'm not a fan of low riders, but it's a good clean truck, that's for sure. Kind of like the little uh, blue brakes they have on it. It's a nice little accent. Uh, I think you need bigger brakes over here in the rear, though. I would put a bigger brake back there. Yeah, put a bigger caliber brake or something. I mean, come on. All right, so let's get to the task at hand. What? Ooh. This might be an option right here. Could we get another three-wheeler with some fatties on it? Hmm. It's basically the same thing, a Honda ATC 200X. Kind of digging the yellow. I like our colors a lot better, but the fatties on there, we could really float across. We can really be dangerous in, you know. Them big fat old tires were always good because uh, they're almost like a bumper. You could hit stuff and just kind of bounce off of it, but they're extremely dangerous. Look at this old school versatile here. What does that say on there? A Butler, a 2310. I'm not sure the horsepower on this. I'm sure if it's, it hasn't been overhauled, it's probably lost some of its horsepower. That's a good old tillage tractor right there. That's old. That's American power right there, that's for sure. Always like the looks of these. I kind of like the old school colors, kind of like that other versatile right there. But, you know, pretty plain inside. That's the weirdest looking gear shift I've ever seen. Pretty plain. An option if it goes cheap enough, that's for sure. Oh man, look at this beautiful Steiger. Is this the 20th anniversary? It is. I don't know why it says 20 years of quad track on there when it's tires. That's a little odd. That's definitely a little odd. It has tires on it. That's a different, but uh. Man, it does have, oh, it has a towing cable right in the front, too, and a little hitch. Oh, this is kind of nice. It has a little uh, toolbox right there. I don't think we can afford this. Man, this is kind of nice. 
This wouldn't be that bad. Oh, it does. So it has a PTO. It has uh, six hydraulic hookups. And it has a quick attach hitch on it. Let's see if we can fire this up. So it has the Pro 700 on it screen. Wow. Yeah, it, this thing, if I could get into this for the right money, but man, this is, this is a big, this is huge for our farm. That must be escape. Person escaping. So in case uh, somebody you don't like coming through that door, you can always escape through this door, right? I don't know. Probably not. That was stupid. Do not sit on tires. Over the tires. Yep, that's probably a dumb idea. Especially if they're turning. Be That would be a good tillage tractor. But we do have an old Versatile. This is a 975. So I think they call that the Candy Stripe. Candy Stripe, I believe. Versatile. Man, that's a view. I just love the way the fronts of, of these Versatiles look. So mean. A little ground squirrel when this thing is coming over your home, man. That that would uh, scare the turds right out of you. Oh, I got a little, uh, what is it? Uh, old school back. Uh, so we got uh, four hydraulic hookups remote. Not too bad inside the cab, pretty plain. Definitely a little plain. So this is a retirement auction. Sorry, I probably should have said that right off the get go. This is a retirement auction. Because they sold all the land, they uh, basically, uh, the elevator donated their land to have the auction here. So we're able to actually uh, look at this type, of, look at all the stuff. And obviously you could tell they like big articulated tractors they had a lot of old tillage tractors here they were big time you know uh small grain operations so they didn't have they did have a few so they have this we'll go and look at that butte over there i really came here because we are in we are looking for a harvester we need a harvester bad because it is almost wheat harvesting season so we got a uh, Massey Ferguson, a little sassy Ferguson over here. I love the sassy Fergusons. I love how wide these tires are. Man, are they thick. Really cool guy named Squad, I think, had one of these before. Wouldn't mind having this. Front end of this thing is so intimidating, too. I mean, look at that thing. Yep. Very cool. So this is a uh, 4,900, huh? All right, I'm not sure what the horsepower rating is for that. Oh, look at this thing. So it kind of has, I like. I kind of like the interior. So it has a little bit more modern interior. So it looks like a uh, three speed high and low. So that's a little odd. So auxiliary valve. So it does have a PTO. You can see it right there. Uh, depth control, so it must have a three-point hitch. Not too bad of a old tractor. I wouldn't mind having this old thing. I mean, it kind of be an upgrade than our old uh, versatile we have. If we get it at the right price. Ooh, listen to that thing. You gotta hear this thing start up. Let's hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I know. That stupid dryer is so loud over here. So this is what I was really interested in. The 30 years ro rotary leadership axle flow. So we got a 2588 here. What a beautiful harvester. It has a little grain extension. Uh, it does have the longer auger on it. This is a properly sized uh, old uh, case uh, harvester there. You see a lot of them that just aren't properly sized. This one is definitely sized correctly. Kind of digging this. Let's see inside. Yeah. 
This ain't too bad. Fairly good interior here. Oh, buddy seat right there. I, w I was hoping to get duels on my harvester though. So I, I think I am going to bid on this old thing. Uh, this looks like uh, it does have does kind of have high, so it has 4,000 uh, separator hours on there. So that's kind of a little high there, but not too bad. That's for a case that's probably just breaking in. Does seem like it has a ghost door there. Ooh, so here's a 2388. This does have duels on it. Uh, see how clean this is. So this is a size smaller than the 2588. So the interior looks just like the 2588 right there. You can get both of these harvesters at CNH modding if you're interested. It's danger C A C N H I modding, huh? Danger, huh? That is danger. Danger. It's kind of weird they have a cup holder right there on that side. A little bit odd. I would not mind having this. This is a perfect harvester for our operation, I think. Elmer's Hallmaster grain cart with tires on it. It's a little bit different. I would not mind having this thing. This thing is not going to go cheap, though. No way, shape, or form will this thing go cheap. We do need a grain cart, and that has the oddest looking rear hitch I've ever seen on a grain cart, but yeah, that is. That is a different. You don't see many rear hitches on a grain cart, and that's probably the most unique I've ever seen. The inside looks fairly good in there. It's not too bad looking. Climb down here. Here's a Kinsey. So this is uh, 1100. It's an old school Kinsey. Man, I really didn't want to get a dueled. Kinsey. I kind of wanted the fatties on there. I always like the fatties, the fat book. Wasn't too interested in getting a track Kinsey. I just don't think we can afford that. Tracks are definitely more money. This does have the duels on the back. Uh, this is a 1100 Kinsey. Does have one heck of a pipe that these things come out. That is one intimidating pipe that comes out of these things. So it does have directional control pipe. Both of these, I would not mind either one getting in. I really wish this would have fatties on it, but this Kinsey, whew. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bid on both, but I think the whole master, just because this thing is almost brand new, is probably uh, gonna slip through the cracks. We got a Capello eight row head here. Yep, eight row. Looks like he's even a folding eight row. You don't see that every day, but I need a corn head. I don't know if I can afford a Capello. This looks like it's a little used right there. A little uh, paint war. The decals are a little bit war. Does look like they touched up the center auger there just to make it look newer, but yeah, definitely gonna bid on this. I don't know if I'll get it or not. Got a little a small draper head. You don't really see this size draper heads every day. This is a Case IH draper head. At least it says Case IH on it. I don't think this is really a Case IH draper head, but uh, doesn't matter to me. I'm probably still gonna bid on it. Looks like we have a uh, Case IH uh, loader L795 here. A front uh, grapple hook. I don't know if we have a tractor for this or not. I am a little interested in this Heston baler. Uh, this is obviously seen its day. Man, this thing is old. But uh, this is a, like a good backup baler. You always need, especially if you're dairy, you kind of, once that hay is ready, kind of need a backup baler. So this is an old tw twine baler right there. So, yep, got it's definitely seen its day PTO shaft so if you don't know we we have been looking for a drill so I uh, so the beans I plant in row 
Uh, so I don't really need it for my uh, soybeans or anything, but I've been... I need it for like wheat, oats, anything specialty crops. I think we might have to plant some oats for our horses we just purchased. So I'm really thinking about possibly uh, bidding on this. I don't know if I'll get it or not. Definitely a good looking drill. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to take too much work to get it operational. Uh, don't know if we'll be able to uh, afford it. Definitely the primary goal is to get a couple of corn head, a draper head, and one of them harvesters, and a grain. I do kind of wish I could have this. I, I wouldn't mind this little uh, shank PTO, uh, basically uh, driven uh, shank ripper. It would kind of be a nice option to have on the farm. So this is a 2500 Case IH Eco Till with uh, breakaway shanks on it. What is this a 1237 shank ripper? Wow. That would be an option there. I wouldn't mind having stepping into this real easily. But uh, we'll have to see. We will have to see if that's possible. I just don't think. This is a smart purchase because we only have the 8330 and uh, this would kind of be uh, doubling it. Uh, we do have the Versatile that's able to uh, basically be our tillage tractor next year so we don't have to use the 4440. I'm definitely going to consider uh, throwing my number up. So you, you never know when something like that uh, when you can get something cheap at auction. Every once in a while you get lucky. Let's see here. Alright, let's see when they are gonna start this thing off. Alright, we're gonna start off. Wish me luck. Alright, so uh, the auction's over. I'm just helping this guy uh, basically uh, load up his uh, Magnum. No, no, we, did, we didn't buy this. So he bought this and the Ripper behind it actually, so uh, he got a pretty good deal really liking this magnum got this rear window you can open up everything is kind of pretty cool on this thing pretty kind of a nice option I kind of disappointed I couldn't uh, pre basically purchase it but it, it does look nice Let's see if we got them loaded about right looks uh, we might need to back it up just a hair I think that will be a proper load. That's definitely going to be a load for this old uh, ram. You guys think this power ram has it in it? It's only a three-quarter ton, so I, I hope they're not going on a long distance it's a journey here. Alright, he's taking off. Oh man, is that thing going to get it? Come on. Oh, 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 look at that. Do a little power hop there. Oh, man thing. Look at it. The back end is almost scraping. Woo! It's going. See you later, buddy. Okay, so this little uh, three-wheeler here went cheap, so we just picked it up. I mean, you'd be amazed at how cheap this thing is. And it runs good. Like, we got this for only about uh, 400 bucks. So somebody uh, basically got it running fairly good it's definitely seen a lot of hours on it but uh i mean this thing is fun no doubt about it i know we're just driving in a random field but uh got another three-wheeler on the farm ramp it oh yeah ramp it oh yeah oh uh, too bad doesn't ramp that good uh we didn't get the versatile either one actually uh the the first time went for a lot, of, a pretty good amount, and two, I just think it's it's a pretty big uh, tractor for our operation. Uh, the other versatile, it sold, I think, to Kansas. The guy from Kansas, the guy with the yellow uh, Dodge. I don't know about uh, that yellow, but uh, he uh, he purchased the versatile. The Steiger here it didn't actually sell, so I. I think I might have worked out a possible deal. Not getting anybody's hopes up, but I think I might have worked out a possible deal. 
So, uh, he, uh, the owner was here, and I was talking to him, and, uh, he, it didn't go for enough money for him, but, uh, he said it could, we could use it, possibly. Uh, he is going to try to sell it, uh, online, so if that happens, we will not be able to use it, but if not, we can uh, basically uh, lease it, borrow it. Maybe if our crops just do phenomenal, it might be ours. But you never know. So uh, the old Versatile went for too much money. It went to Kansas. The same guy bought this uh, Sassy Massey over here. So he bought the 4900 here. So uh, he, uh, he runs a big wheat operation over there in uh, Kansas. So he likes using the big horsepower, the old school uh, articulated tractors. Uh, the 2588 it just had too many separator hours and uh, didn't have duals on, which I was really hoping for. Uh, it does. It is a rear wheel drive, which you know it's kind of hard to find nowadays, especially for sale. But we ended up uh, not being able to purchase it. But we did purchase the 2388 here, so it's a rear wheel drive too. So our four or rear wheel power or rear wheel assist harvester that was hard to say but it's a uh, has duels on it so everything it's just a little bit smaller than the 2588 with horsepower so uh, I'm happy I'm happy so uh, got that purchased that the whole the hall master went for too much money I know it's a shame we did end up getting the Kinsey. The good thing is is he planned on putting this on floater tires anyways. So I was talking to the old owner and he actually told me he'll he'll sell me some uh, floater tires for this so I can uh, take these off, take the duels off of this thing and put the floater tires on it. So uh, I'm pretty uh, happy with that but I, I'm happy I uh, ended up getting this so this thing is going to look sweet, especially if we get that Steiger. If not the Steiger, we can always put this on the 8330. 8330 is going to have to play good with the Case uh, Harvester over there. Need to get my truck headed home. I'm going to go pick up my uh, gooseneck here, headed back. I don't know why. I knew I was going to bid seriously on a lot of these options or a lot of this equipment this uh, harvester when I was looking online. I don't know why I didn't end up just pulling my gooseneck down here. So, seems like every time you pull a gooseneck to an auction you don't purchase anything. So, maybe I just thought it was uh, good luck not to pull a gooseneck to an auction. So, I know I said I was going to go get my gooseneck, but I ended up uh, just getting our Mac. I was just like, why... I have a 18 wheeler, basically a big semi. Why wouldn't I just use this to come get this heavy equipment? You know, grain carts, you know, unloaded, they aren't the lightest still, so I think this is probably a better option than uh, making old Chevy Dooley carry that much weight. So hopefully we can get that Chevy Dooley to last longer that way. Oh man, gotta back this up properly Let's see get these straps undone here this thing kind of folds nicely see how it goes it just drags that axle all the way up there folds it all the way down kind of makes a nice little ramp for anything to hold up on it pretty nice trailer all right so that is done so I'm gonna have to go get I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna haul Maybe I'll put my corn head on there, and then I'll get that uh, grain cart. And then I need to see when our other truck is coming here. All right, so our other truck said he's on on his way, so he shouldn't be too long, so that'll be good. I, hopefully, I'm going to have to ask if I can use one of these tractors over here to uh, load that. I think I'll just, uh, hopefully, I'll drive... Uh, my uh, corn head, I can fold that up. I could probably put it way up here high. And then uh, I 
for that little three-wheeler maybe all the way up there on front what the heck look at this thing wow that thing is beautiful talk about a truck Ooh, and it's a female driver man sexy this thing is beautiful a w990 Oh, Kenworth. Man, I love the front end of these things. Look at that. That is one beautiful hauling rig there. The straight pipe exhaust there. All the chrome on it. The red. The sleeper. Look at that little... Uh, that front uh, has all the tools and everything. Hookups. Man, is that sick. So I gotta look inside this thing. Wow! Look back there, you got all that, you got a microwave. Oh man, is this thing. This is one sexy Kenworth. Man, I bet this is a expensive. Watch how this thing goes. Boom, boom, boom. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. So cool. And it slides out. Goes all the way back down. You gotta fold all these back in right there. Fold all these back out because we're gonna definitely need it because I think I'm gonna put the, hopefully the harvester on here. So now we got a wide drop deck right here so we could definitely put a harvester on it. Look how good that thing would have looked together. Though, I mean, that would have been a sweet operation. So let's fold this thing up here. Look at that. That's so cool. I don't think there's probably a big use to having a folding eight row corn head, but we got one. At least it'll go easily on a trailer. I'm gonna try to drive this up here. It's just barely wide enough to go up this thing. I want to get it all the way to the front. Lower it down. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Kind of works out right there nicely. All right, so I decided to lo load up our little three-wheeler right there. I think it'll just work right underneath that grain cart. So I loaded that up really quick. Now I just got to back up this grain cart all the way, uh, unhitch it, strap it down, and hopefully we could be on our way. I know she is getting a little bit impatient. We need to get ahead of it over here you know semis they semi drivers they have to basically the more hauls they make the more money they make so they get a little impatient you take too long uh, loading something here we go everything's folding all right oh is that gonna hit oh no no oh man it looks like we planned it or something wow looking good so we got this set up we got the 2388 strapped down Ooh. It looks like somebody's over here uh, loading up their grain cart. Man, is that looking good. What a sweet setup. Man, that is one heck of a setup right there. Look how wide and stance that is. Is that a 2020 GMC over there? It sure does look like a 2020 GMC. That's a good looking setup though. But we are going to get this all back to the farmyard. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.